it's very obvious I'm reviewing these guns back to back. Considering I just bought them, I'm not even gonna hide that from you. I don't even know why I would. It's cool. I got them both on the same day. With that being said, I don't think I would be doing you the justice of a nice cinematic unboxing, uh, opening, first impressions, whatever you wanna call this. You know the title, you saw the title. Stay tuned, watch the entire thing, and just enjoy because we are about to pop the secret hatch on the Z06 and get into this Troy Defense A4 Other. Other, nine millimeter other, haven't seen a lot of these. Look, nine millimeter other. Roll the dumb intro that is for my other channel because I'm too lazy to get one for this. It's cool cars anyway, but just enjoy. I'm gonna pop this open, but just, just remember, before I get into this, no, that this is my mom's ammo bag. No, I'm just kidding. This is my ammo bag. I bought this from my mom. She didn't want it because she's she's not fucking bougie. So turned into an ammo bag. Got a ton of nine millimeter in there. We're gonna go shoot these first impressions. I just did the PS90 review. Like I said, not review. I'm not really a gun reviewer. I'm never gonna be a gun reviewer. Maybe one day. I don't know. I just I don't want to be. I'm an unboxer because I like to buy cool shit. So subscribe down below if you're interested in that. I don't know if I posted that video yet or not. Hopefully I did so I don't look like an arse. Oh yeah, baby, FM products. I'm not really brand biased, but when something's made in America and I see that beautiful fucking flag, we just gotta check it out. So we're gonna dig into, I'm just, I definitely, I saw this already. The first time I saw this gun, I'm gonna give you a little story real quick. Before we do the full unbox, and break down and check everything that it comes with. Cause we got some, some cool things going on. Let me focus in on my face here right now. What's up with my beard? I got like a snake beard going. Two tongue, split tongue, split beard. Like a man ray. A little weird, never experienced that before. So here's the deal. I go in to pick up my PS90 that I want on auction, right? And I've been looking, the reason why I got that because it shoots 5.7. 5.7 is my favorite kind of exotic, definitely now. It's not even funny because it's just hard to find. But I have a ton of nine millimeter handguns. Nine millimeter, it's cheap to shoot and it's fun to shoot and it's effective. It's an effective round for my lifestyle, for what I need. So with that being said, I want a some sort of long gun that can do that. Been searching, 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 couldn't find anything in the state, the communist land. It's not even a state, it's its own, it's its own, I don't know, dictatorship of New Jersey. Go to pick that up, and I see this back there. Talking to Scott, the owner of Swap Farms. I should probably get into this shirt first real quick. I haven't even looked at the shirt. This, I haven't looked at. We got this plush, plush, large, cotton mixed material oh i can't wait to wear this everywhere i'm gonna sleep in this i'm gonna shower in this i'm gonna have sex in this i'm gonna do everything yeah you bet so we've got that out of the way we'll just we'll just pop that right there bang if you're in the state of new jersey he's out in hamilton by appointment only hit him up if you need something he's a he's a he's a wizard he's, he's the swat wizard scott the swat wizard he's a beast Hooks me up, hooks it up, we will hook you up. So, if you already know what this is, you know by seeing this uh, right there, how it says other, it, it calls for some interesting circumstances, which are totally legal too. Magazine, comes with this little Snickers bar of a nine millimeter Glock mag. These take Glock mags, hence the Glock mags. I like these, they're, you know, they look kind of cheap, but it's cool. It's whatever. I'll get into review on those later. That's not why you're here. Why you're here is to check this out. Like I've said in previous videos, I collect these. I'm greedy. I like to keep them. It's cool. I got Walther, CZ, HK, FN. Now we got Troy. What's what's back here? This little tan, cardboard-looking weapon record book. Is this an owner manual? Record book is remain with the above item at all times. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, maintain a record number rounds fired in the weapon described in the cover. Ah. That's nothing new. Tried to make it seem like it was, but that's cool. Troy. Oh yeah. We'll get into this later. I gotta make copies of this, probably gonna, probably gonna laminate it. Um, this is paperwork to keep with you just so 
you can CYA, it's the CYA file, the cover your ass file. If I actually could get this paper open, it'd be really, really nice. Um, oh God, this is awkward. I'm starting to get nervous. All right, so I had my mom come out here and open this up for me. Yeah, you need this. You need to keep this. That way you can tell that this, and should we do it? Should we do it right now, guys? I don't know, should we? I think we should. I think we should clean up some of this stuff that's freaking me out. You guys are probably thinking, saying whatever, commenting down below, freaking out. Matt, pick up the damn gun already. Pick it up, I wanna see it. I wanna see it. First, let me just break down visuals. Swap firearms, stickers. You get those too. I didn't even ask him for this. He hooked it up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. But he's a beast. So, you've got your vertical grip. You have to have that with this. You've got your brace. It's not a stock. It's a telescoping brace. Telescoping stocks must be pinned in New Jersey. You cannot have that. This is not a telescoping stock. You can have this, but you can't have that. You can have this. This is a shoulder brace. That's what this is for. I'll get into that in a second. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna go over the fit and finish. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's this is beautiful. I didn't necessarily want the FDE, but man, flat darker. That's a nice color. That's a nice color. I'm more of a fan of the sand, the desert tan look, but that sure does look good. Uh, just to give you a little idea of everything. Now, obviously, I've, I've seen this earlier, but we can just double check to make sure she's clear. You see, she's clear. Okay, great. We're gonna do that. She's not hot, also safe. We're good to go. We can check this out, but I can get this in, in camera a lot easier now. This is a brace. Cool thing about the 9mm brace is it's got this little open, open tab right here. And you're supposed to stick your arm through there. I'm not gonna do it, but that's what makes it legal. And since this is an other and it has that, it can have that. One thing I'm not gonna recommend you do, but uh, I mean, I don't give a fuck what you do. Do whatever the fuck you want. Don't take this off. Keep it. You can't have any other types of grips. I mean, you can, you can get other vertical grips, throw batteries in, whatever. This comes with the uh, battle sights, which are nice, but they're, they're iron sights, you know, they're, they're metal sights. Is what it is. I want to get a red dot. I have a red dot I might use for it. This, that's gonna go. Unscrew that, screw that back in. Still qualifies. Scott gave me confirmation that this is still legal. This is okay. But again, him nor I are telling you to do that. I'm not telling you to do that. I don't care what you do. I don't, I don't, I'm not telling you to do whatever. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm not encouraging anything. I am just doing my thing. I don't really know being, uh, I normally make car videos, so I'm new to this whole firearm thing. I don't know what I should say or shouldn't say, but I'm gonna treat it just like financial advice. This is not financial advice. I'm not, well, I mean, this is great. I could financially advise you. This is an, this is an awesome purchase. Do whatever you want with these guns. Be responsible, be safe. Let's get more into this. You got the pick rail here also. I got some attachments that will slide in on here as well. This is good stuff. The sights flip up. I think you just saw me push them down, push that in, they, they throw right down. The Glock mags pop right in on the back. It, it ejecto seats them out. I'm gonna drop these rounds out of here, but you can hop her in right there like that. Pull the charging handle back. She's still clear and uh, yeah. She's good to go. Now, my thing with this, I can close this. I, like I, I may, but can I? Okay, there we go. My favorite thing about this is not the charging handle. This, it's, just listen to that. It's kind of gritty. I've, I've felt smoother, but you know, you can get an aftermarket one if you want. And uh, also, that in there also when you pull her back really loose not a fan of that I mean yeah you can send her back in like like you want to you should but it's just I don't know if you can hear that but it's 
Again, not a deal breaker. I'm not knocking this. I'm not saying don't buy it. That's literally like I'm nitpicking. That's the only thing I kind of dislike about the uh, the item. The other. It's not a rifle. It's not a pistol. You can't have AR pistols in Jersey either. It's just weird how they have it set up. Go on the website. Do your own research for that. Troy Defense. U.S. Government. Cage code 3 e z 11 Let's w watch this ejecto. Ejecto swatch. Launches them out, dude. Fucking great. Love this thing. I would say keep this on you just because I think California right now is actually trying to uh, do some sort of uh, augmentation to their regulations right now and, and ban these. That would suck considering I just dropped... How much was this? I think I paid... I paid 14.30, whatever their MSRP is, uh, maybe just just shy over 13.99 or 13.99, something like that. I should probably know this stuff. I I don't care. I just wanted this. So, as you do. Battle sights are sweet. I like this vertical grip. Everything that's going on, you can take her from a low. Since she's so short, you can take her from a low ready. Hop right there. The vertical grip's cool because you can kind of hand it whatever you need to do. Take her from a high ready. You can throw her on there. Wow, that did that just slide? It did just slide. Wow. Might need to tighten that. Yep. Yep. Totally. Totally need to do that. That's interesting. That's something I can uh, show you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put that back on. That was an accident, but okay. I'll look into that. Low ready, you can, you can do a similar thing. You got this right there, you know, there's, there's nothing out of the ordinary with the high ready, low ready, any of that presentation, but yeah. I don't know what else to say, guys. Look at this thing. If you want one, if you want one in nine millimeter, uh, see, I'm more of like, uh, I was just talking to Scott about this when I was there picking these up. If I'm gonna go after a, oh, I don't know, rifle or anything of the sort or an other, whatever, I don't really want 5.56 anymore. It's not pricey to shoot, but I don't know. I just, I don't see a purpose for it in my life. 308, hunting stuff, things like that. If I'm going to a state where I can use rifles to hunt. Also, 5.79 millimeter, that's my thing. That's my thing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. I don't know what else to tell you other than I'm ready to go shoot this. So that's why I want to stop filming. I'm probably going to pay some camera guy on Craigslist that wants me to pee on him. But instead of peeing on him, I'm going to be like, yo, come on, dude. Just just film the video. I don't want to have to pee on you. That'd be weird. I wouldn't like that. But that being said, I commend you, Troy, for making something so damn awesome. I didn't think I'd be able to get anything like this in New Jersey ever, but thanks to this, what it explains. Again, touchy subject, me, Matt, not getting into that detail. I'm not even Matt, I'm CGI. This isn't real, you're not real. This video is not real, goodbye.